What is a network? A network is a collection of computing devices connected by communication media to allow users to communicate, share hardware, software, data, and information. There are many reasons for creating a network. Fast and efficient communication. Think of the first app you download when you get a new phone. My guess is that it's a communication app like WhatsApp or Telegram. Why? Because when you get a new phone, you are now connected to a network and you want to communicate because it is easier, fast and efficient. Sharing of hardware. The next time you are in a computer lab, I want you to point to the printer next to your computer or point to the modem giving you internet access. I bet you won't be able to do that. Yet you have the option to print or go online on that computer. How? That's because all the computers on the network are sharing the printer, all the computers are using the one proxy server to get online. Networks mean you don't need to buy a printer for each and every computer because you can share the hardware. Data is centralized. Data is all stored in file servers so it's all centralized. This makes it easier to back up data as well as make changes to how you can access what on the network. Transfer of files. I once worked at a school that had many computers but they were not networked. I wanted to give my students a file to work on so I had to go to each and every computer and copy the files individually. What a waste of time. With a network it is so much easier to transfer files to each other with shared drives or network drives. Leisure. Some people want to play computer games and playing with a team of other players or against computers is a lot more fun and challenging than playing against a computer. Networking allows people to play games or what some people refer to as LANing. Increased security. Networks have sophisticated software that can limit someone to only access certain files, allow them to see files but not able to change them, to prevent what times of the day they can log on or what websites they can access. Networks allow you to increase your security options. Flexible access. When I log on to one computer, I can access my files. But if I go to another computer, I can still access the same files. How is that? By allowing flexible access. Files are normally on a file server which allows me to access my files on any machine because the data is not stored on the local machine but you are accessing it via the file server. What are the disadvantages of a network? Having a network administrator is necessary to manage, maintain and secure a network. This requires an added cost of having or employing a network administrator and you need someone that is trained in setting up and managing the network. Network systems can store and share confidential information such as personal, financial and sensitive business data. If the network is not properly secured, this information can be accessed by unauthorized people leading to security breaches and data loss. Networks can provide an easy way for malware to spread so it can quickly infect multiple computers connected to the network. This can lead to system crashes, data loss and other problems. A fault or failure in one part of a network can impact the entire network leading to downtime and a loss of productivity. This can significantly disrupt a business. Networks can store and share large amounts of data, however if the network is not properly backed up or secured, this data can be lost or corrupted in case of a failure or disaster. And setting up and maintaining a network can be costly as it requires purchasing and upgrading hardware and software as well as paying for ongoing maintenance and support. This can be a disadvantage for smaller organizations or those with limited budgets. The components needed in a network start with the computer and peripherals that you want to connect together. This can include desktop computers and laptops, other hardware like printers, wireless devices like tablets and smartphones and servers. Each of these devices need a NIC or network interface controller. This is a hardware device that is installed in the computer that allows the data that the computer wants to send to be transmitted over the network. It's basically where your network cable plugs into. But some devices don't need plugs but still have a NIC. That's because these devices have a wireless NIC. This can either be an internal card that's installed inside the computer or an external USB device that can be connected to the computer when needed. And it basically does the same except it transmits data wirelessly. Then we have a switch. A switch connects all the devices together on a network and forwards data directly to the intended destination. If you want to learn more about switches, then check out our video on it. The link's in the description. Now, if you have wireless devices in your network, you will probably also need a wireless access point. They will allow wireless devices to connect to the wired network. And last but not least, use communication media. This is the way that all devices are physically connected together. Some are connected wirelessly using, for example, Wi-Fi to connect to the wireless access point. And you can connect devices using cables like UTP cables or fiber optic cables. They are like the veins and the arteries of the network, allowing data to flow between the devices. And those are the main hardware components used in a network. But Mr. Long, is there any software involved? Why, yes, there is. 
and that is the NOS. Now, I'm not referring to some prop from a Fast and Furious movie, but the Network Operating System. The Network Operating System is software that allows you to manage and administer network resources and services, such as the file sharing, the different types of users and their profiles, and the security and communication protocols. And there you go, knowing what is a network, the reasons for a network, disadvantages as well as the components involved. So happy networking! For more computer terms, go to our YouTube channel at Mr. Long Computer Terms, or even follow us on TikTok at Mr. Long Education. Leave a like, leave a comment, we'd love to hear from you. And remember, don't do it the long way, do it the Mr. Long way.